Red Reborn with the Kansas City Monarchs continues in our featured guest this week, the one and only manager, Joe Cathalpietra. Haven't caught up in a while, but good to see your smiling face. It's getting close. Joe, you ready? Yep, we're ready. Ready to go, ready to go. Well, let's start. Uh, uh, first things, overall, where are we overall? Where you are right now as we uh, basically first week of April, where are we? Yeah, it's tough to tell right now. Um, we still have a couple weeks left before we get into camp. We still do have some pieces that we have to put together. So um, the next couple of weeks, I would say, are going to be important. I, I don't say we're a finished product by any by any stretch of the imagination. A couple of big names the last 24 hours. And let's uh, start. First off, Alexis Olmeda, which uh, I was asked earlier this week on This Week in the American Association on their podcast. They asked me, well, uh, what, what's Joe going to do next? What about a catcher? I said, well, I'm going to ask Joe about a catcher. Well, they beat me to the punch. You beat us to the punch. You signed Alexis, a guy who really made a huge difference last year. Uh, good to have a guy by the dish building up the middle right there. Yeah, I mean, we're happy to have him back. I mean, he really did do a great job for us when we when we got him. Uh, so we're happy to have him back. Um, it, it does give us some security right now. Um, so, you know, and obviously we have to do some more things. Sure. You know, we're... we're um, we're far from we're far from done. He really was an impact guy too when he came in. Basically, got off the plane, uh, went to Gary, joined the ball club there on the road. Uh, he hit the ground running. But you looking back on the 2021 season, how important was to have that guy behind the dish, basically every night, handed that pitching staff. Yeah, well, he did. He handled the pitching staff very well. You know, when we picked him up, we were in a little turmoil there behind the plate. You know. We were experimenting, you know, a couple of different things, and um, he did. He, he solidified a lot of different uh, things for us. So we were happy to get him, and he, he did settle down some things. Um, and, you know, we were able to move forward from there. Joe Cathy, actor with us here on Rain Reborn with the Kansas City Monarchs. Dan Vaughn with you as we, uh, gosh, first week of April, and a guy that uh, uh, made the final out in the 2021 championship series final game against Fargo Moorhead, Jamison McGrain. Jamo's back. I know that's going to excite you. I'm sure it's exciting uh, Mike Hinneman as well. Uh, that's a great piece to have, that back-end piece. Uh, back-end piece is back. Is that where he's going to go? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's where, you know, starting the season. You know, last year he did a couple of different things for us. We needed a starter. He, you know, Jamison's a guy that he wanted to plug in wherever we needed him. Um, so he did some starting, but, you know, uh, obviously he's a back end bullpen guy and he did a, an outstanding job closing out games for us. So um, hopefully we won't need to bounce him around as much this year. Another guy I want to ask you about is uh, David Thompson, uh, a guy that uh, really, and I say this, that's like a broken record on my show on, on this show I say, well, he fits the, the he fits the pedigree. He fits the the pedigree for Joe, a guy that's got some skins in the wall, who's got a little something perhaps to prove, all those things. But David Thompson seems like a corner infield piece that uh, is going to fit in nicely. Uh, it would would I sum him up correctly? Yeah, I mean, he has some versatility. He could play a couple of different spots and, and and wants to do that, and he he does. Um... He has a little edge to him, you know, and talking with him and in the process of, of getting him to come into Kansas City. So um, I think he is going to fit in nicely and, and we're excited to have him. Um, we're, we're looking forward to putting him in with some of the other pieces that we, we, we're kind of familiar with. So it's, you know, it, it could be it could be exciting. And I, I mentioned him because my next thing is the, the number 88. That's the number of home runs that you've got coming back currently from that uh, record-setting club last year with uh, uh, Darnell Sweeney, uh, Casey Gillespie, uh, Jan Hernandez, Imadel Isabel. I'm missing somebody here. Am I missing? Uh, but you've got that bunch back, and you throw this in there. You throw uh, Thompson in there. Uh, the power numbers look menacing. Yeah, well, we have to do it. You know, I mean, the the talk is good, you know, I mean, you know, and with Jan Hernandez coming back and and all that, but we have to do it. 
you know, the, the paper's the paper and, and the guys have done it in the past here, but we have to go out and we have to, you know, we have to put it together on the field and, uh, you know, so I'm looking forward to seeing the guys. Uh, that's what I'm looking forward to doing. And, and pretty soon we're going to have them on the field all together and, uh, and we'll see what happens. Uh, Gabby Guerrero was the other name that I left on. And I, I, how did I leave that guy out? I mean, he only was the MVP of the postseason and uh, was just having fun. Uh, while we're on Gabby, because I, I mentioned this when we signed him a couple weeks ago, there's something about him that's fun. I look at him, he's a, he, you know, they talk about baseball being a, a grown men playing kids game. Uh, he definitely epitomizes that because he's having fun out there. Yeah, he does. He has fun with the fans. He has fun with the players. He has fun with his coaching staff. He has fun with his manager. He has fun. He has fun all around. So uh, he, he keeps it loose and he, he has fun. So um, he, he's exciting. He's an exciting kid. Um, so it's, it's, <laughs> it's a fun club. It really is. And I, I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing everyone together again. This clip was asked to me as well when I was on this week in the association. One of those two guys, I believe it was uh, Kevin Luco, asked me, uh, you know, how can you, can you can repeat? Is there going to be hunger there? All those things because of all the familiar faces coming back. That's something, at least in your time in Kansas City, you've had, you've got more familiar faces than before. What's going to be the key for keeping that hunger going? Well, I mean, I think that's a big part that, it's going to be on our shoulders, uh, you know, the coaching staff and myself uh, to make sure the guys are motivated. And I think the clubhouse is going to have a lot to do with that also. And I think the leadership in the clubhouse, um, because there is this, this is odd for me. This is odd. Uh, I, I have never brought back so many players from one year to another. Now, this is something that, um, I wanted to do this year because of the players that we have. Uh, this is this is odd that so many players are coming back because there's so many players that deserve to be back, that wanted to be back. It's just the whole package. Um, so we we felt that this is the year that all these guys are going to be back together again. I mean, this is, you know... This is not going to be one of those, you know, tours of, you know, we're coming back for a reason, you know, right. we're coming back for a reason. And um, the reason is to, to win. And the reason is that these guys want to get back to play back with a major league affiliate. And um, so all the stars are lined up with these guys and that's why they're back. So um that, that's why we're doing it. The show is Rain Reborn with the Kansas City Monarchs. Dan Vaughn with you along with Kansas City Monarchs manager Joe Cathalpietra here as we round third head for home on the interview here. Um, I bring up Alexis Almeida's story earlier about how you know he was sort of, I believe the story, if I remember correctly, Jan Hernandez was very vocal in that. Dar I asked this to Darnell Sweeney a couple weeks ago, and he said that, you know, that you know, you're really one of those guys that will ask – the players about other players you, you you actively seek their advice and uh, is that are you seeing some of that going on th this year with a lot of the guys back together well i mean i, I know the guys now so that's right. you know but get re recruiting guys sure i mean i ask guys their opinion on the players that i don't know right. um I, I think that's important you know um i think it goes the other way also you know when I think players are looking to come into our program. I think they ask the players what they feel about us, you know, uh, and hey, what do you think of your manager? And, you know, I, I think that goes, you know, back and forth. But yeah, I mean, I, I want to know about these guys and I ask players that I respect. I ask them, how are they going to fit in our clubhouse? And, you know, I want to know, because if they don't fit in our clubhouse and they're not right. going to fit in our city, then I'm not interested. Right. I, if they if they fit on the field and I know they're good players, that's one thing. OK, but they have to fit in our clubhouse. They have to fit in our community. 
They have to fit with our front office. They have to fit with a lot of different right. things. And if I ask our players that are already in house that know how we run our, our organization, then yeah, Joe, they, you know, they're going to fit in. They, they understand because they're, they've already been here. Away from the players, uh, new division this year. We haven't really talked about this much on the show, but I was asked this too as well. Uh, different division format, you, basically the same, you know, Sioux City, Lincoln, you're, you're going to see those two clubs again. But now it's a little different adding Winnipeg and fargo Morehead. Have you looked at the schedule yet or you're not worried about that? You just kind of come day by day. Well, I mean, the schedule is a schedule. I'm not looking at the schedule really as much, but I, I know we're going to have – some competitive competitive in division i mean having fargo and winnipeg in our division i mean we already know what we're gonna have to face with lincoln and sioux city and sioux falls in our division really really difficult teams in our division but now putting fargo and and winnipeg in your division this is some division that you're gonna have so it's going to be exciting. I mean, you know, there's no, there's no question about it. And you see, you know, I say it all the time that we have really good managers and directors that sure. put teams together um, and you see the teams and the, how they're being built and you, you just, you're, wow. You know, and, and you see, you, you have your hands full. Joe. Appreciate your time as always, and uh, we will see you. Just, we're, we're, we'll chat one more time, then we'll be ready for uh, camp and all that. And uh, I mean, it's coming. It's, uh, coming. it's coming. It's coming. I'm looking forward to it. Are you? Yes, I am. Can't wait. Appreciate your time as always, sir. We'll see you soon. Thank you.